when dove season starts, Yuma gets cooking. It's a dove hunting hotspot, and these birds really hit the spot when you cook them up right. That's what's going on at the Cocopa Resort and Casino. Welcome to the second annual World Championship Dove Cook-Off in Yuma, Arizona. We have seven teams participating today. So today we're making toasted dove ravioli, dove sausage ravioli with a deconstructed jalapeno popper crostini. So I'm Matt Eberhardt, my teammate is John O'Dell, and we're the Dove Dudes. Last year's champs, the Dove Dudes, are back to defend their title, and they're facing some stiff competition. So I am Kristen Young, my team name is Koo and the Gang. I'm making fried dove and waffles. Um, they're authentic Belgian waffles, so they have little caramelized sugar pearls in them. My name's Court Bacon, we are the pork belly shooters, and I'm cooking today with my father, Jim Bacon. This year we'll be cooking a Dove Wellington, served with sauteed asparagus in a Madeira wine sauce. I am making Dove mozzarella pasta with sun-dried tomatoes. The team name is Good Morning, as in Morning Dove. I'm Tanae Miller, and my teammate is Jane Perez-Brown. My name is Ricky Kelmany, and my partner is Christopher Ayers and my team is Team Kelmany. We are making some hot fish oil truffled doves. It's some crazy concoction I came up with. We're gonna make dove pockets. My name's Kathy Weddle, I'm from Yuma, Arizona. Uh, our team is the Fireballs, AKA the Doveritas. I'm in it with my daughter, Chelsea Weddle. My name is John Renato. I've got my uh, family and a dear friend here. We are the West Coast chefs because that's where we came from. Because living in California, we have to come here for good hunting and where we can use lead and stuff like that. But I won't, uh, I won't make this too much of a political statement, but we've been coming here 30 years even before those rules because it's a lot of fun. Figured I wanted to do a, uh, an Italian dish because I'm Italian. So I'm doing a pasta carbonara, which uses an Italian uncured bacon pancetta. They can make anything that they want as long as 80% of the recipe consists of the dove. Thank you everybody for coming. Best of luck. Ready, set, go. With two hours on the clock, the teams get to work. Across the room, celebrity chef and cookbook author Hank Shaw is demonstrating how to clean and grill some delicious dove. Meanwhile, things are looking and smelling great. As the teams finish their creations, they plate the food and send it off to the judges. This is very unique. Some good and some bad. The way that these chefs prepare them to be so tender, it's just, it amazes me. Doves should be cooked medium, medium rare, and we haven't had that yet, so I'm hoping to see that in the next four. After getting a taste of everything, the judges tally their scores 191? Okay. and talk about their favorites. The sauce was great. The judges have come to a consensus. Team number seven. Third place went to Team Kaomini for its hot bistro oil with white truffle dove. Team number two. The pork belly shooters Dove Wellington took second place. <laughs> And first place... Is that the Dove Dudes? Yep. <laughs> Defending world champions, the Dove Dudes, took the top prize with their toasted Dove ravioli. I think its flavors were really approachable. Uh, it was easy to eat, it was fun to eat, uh, it looked pretty. The toasted ravioli is kind of a, a northeastern thing, and, and the crostini is something a little bit different. We really wanted to play that up. and, and the tra <laughs> Traditional Dove flavors. Back to back! <laughs> To actually win again was, you know, really kind of overwhelming and, and exciting. And it's interesting to see how other people are approaching, you know, one of the most popular game birds in America and how they're cooking it. I really like the Wellington dish. If the uh, dove and waffles had had an actual side dish, I might have voted that one as number one because that was a great thing to eat. Overall, it was a delicious day featuring fresh and healthy dove harvested from the skies around Yuma. A fine example of field-to-table cooking. There are some good dishes. <laughs>